So these are the questions that I just want us to answer together. Let's see how we can go about these questions where you are taught to calculate the number of atoms, you are taught to calculate the mass by using the Avogadro C number. Before we go any further, I gave you a formula that you get to use in a case. So before we even go any further, these are the questions that we are going to answer. These are the questions that we are going to devise through. And I've made this video public on all our platforms. But those of you under my online lessons, I want you to know that after this particular lesson in the evenings to night, we've got a test just under the more concept. So I just want to test on what we did, calculations from equation more to more and more to mass as well as this part because I've seen that most of you are facing some challenges on this part so there is a test in the evenings we are supposed to do uh, physics today but we'll do chemistry today then physics will do it tomorrow hope this is clear the question is eh, maybe there is someone that is watching this video and you are not under my online lessons this is the number you are supposed to whatsapp you whatsapp me on this number so that I add you to the group because uh, mostly I don't post uh, lessons on YouTube like public lesson I just uh, do some simple simple questions so if you want to join us you are free to join me at an affordable fee so how can we answer these questions that are here how many atoms of magnesium are there in five grams of magnesium I told you that if you want to calculate the number of atoms, the formula that you are supposed to use, you need to know that the number of atoms, if you are taught to calculate the number of what? Number of atoms. There are two formulas. We are going to go with this one. Where you just say Avogadro's number. So you are going to say Avogadro's number. I told you that the other name is constant. Then you multiply it with the word number of moles this is a particular formula that we get to use so if you are told to calculate the number of uh, ions number of molecules number of particles number of atoms this is a particular formula we get to use where we say this is equal to what is the avogadro's constant here what is the avogadro's constant the Avogadro's constant, we know it, that is 6.02, some people can say 22, it is just one, but I want us to be using this, then you say times 10 to the power 23, then you get to multiply it with what, you multiply it with the number of moles, number of moles in this question for magnesium, so you know that how do we calculate the number of moles? Number of moles is given by the formula. You say mass over what? Molar mass. This is the formula we use. This is equal to what is the mass? 5 grams over molar mass magnesium. So we just get the mass number which is 24 grams per mole. So this is the what? Molar mass. Then the number of moles equal to. You get your calculator then you divide there you say 5 divide 24 what is the answer you are going to get 0 0.20889 i'll say okay just 8 so 8 3 3 3 8 3 3 3 just going then i say moles so these are the number of moles for what magnesium having that mass it's the one that I'm going to put here, 0 0.20833. So if I multiply, what answer am I getting here? If I multiply, what answer am I going to get? The answer that I'm going to get, I say 6.02 times 10 to the power 23 multiplied by 0 0.2. So 0 0.2 multiplied by 0 0.20. 833. What answer are we getting? The answer we are getting is 
6 times 10 to the power 23. So atoms of magnesiums. Atoms of what? Atoms of magnesium. This is what you are supposed to do. So you've answered the first part of the question. This is what you just need to do. So we've answered the first part. This is what you need to do. These are the calculations that you are supposed to uh, do. Have you seen just like this? This is the answer that we found. If you want, you can round off this answer. There is no problem. That choice is yours. So you've answered the question just like this. This is how you are supposed to. So some of you that answered this same answer, then I marked you wrong. This answer is correct. So you can just make some corrections. These are the answers that we are getting here. You discover that these pamphlets that we get to have these days, if you don't confirm the answers, they do make also mistakes. So the, these answers that I'm solving here, these are the answers. So if there is a question that I marked you wrong, make sure you mark yourself right. These are the answers. So we are done with this part. This is what we need to do. So I gave you two ways of answering questions. So this is a simplest of all. If you are given a question where you are taught to calculate the number of uh, particles, number of ions, that is what you are supposed to do. We move to question number two. So moving to question number two, how can we answer this question? How can we answer this particular question? Say, what is the mass of 3.01 times 10 to the power 23 atoms of carbon? So atoms of what? Carbons. So what you need to do, the mass number for carbon, it's what? The mass number for carbon. So the mass number for carbon, we know that it is what? The mass number is 12 grams. So that is the mass. Have you seen? That is the mass number. Then I just say, since I want to get the mass. So 12 grams is equivalent to 6.02 times 10 to the power 23. What? Atoms of carbon. So in the atom of carbon, which is 12 gram, we've got this number of particles. I think I gave you this when I was starting. Where I was saying one more of this of calcium contains this number of particles. So in this case, we say 12 grams since they have mentioned carbon there. So 12 grams of the same carbon there get to contain what? Get to contain uh, this Avogadro's number. Then we are given this part. Since we want to find the mass, we say x, then we equate to what? We equate to what we are given 3.01 times 10 to the power 23 atoms. This is what we are given. So we it is now a matter of solving for what? Solving for x. We just need to solve for x. How do we solve for x? For us to be able to solve for x, this is what we need to do. We cross multiply. Where this, so I'll just get numbers. The 12, so let me start with this one. x multiplied by that. I'm going to get 6.02 times 10 to the power 23x, which is equal to 12 multiplied by 3.01 times 10 to the power 23. This is what I'm given. Where I'm going to divide both sides by this. Because I want to calculate the number of what I want to calculate the mass. So 0, 02 times 10 to the power 23. Even here, 6.02. Don't say, okay, how come... That question you are putting 6.022, it is just one and the same. You are not supposed to be confused. 10 to the power of 23. So this and that will be cancelled. We say x is now equal to what is the answer? What answer are we going to get? 
x is now equal to this is what we are doing so you get your calculator multiply what is on top there we start they start together 12 times 3.0 so 12 times uh, 12 times 3.01 times 10 to the power 23 what answer are we getting the answer that we are getting i'm getting 3.612 times 10 to the power 24 that's the answer that i'm getting then i divide it with this one so the same answer that i'm getting i say divide this same answer i say what i say divide this is what i'm going to do divide so i divide it by what open bracket to avoid mistakes so i divide it by i say open bracket 6.02 times 10 to the power power what? 23 i say cross what answer am i getting i say equals i'm just getting six so i'll just say six what six grams of what of carbon this is what i need to do six grams of carbon so meaning that this is my answer this is what i'm just supposed to do you just need to answer questions like this this is how you need to answer questions so those of you that want solutions this is the number to contact it's just there just need to contact me on this number I add you to the group, you start lessons at an affordable fee. I'm here to help you get a distinction. So this is the answer. This is the answer we get here. Let us now move on to the other question. We move now to the other question. So these are the answers we need to put there. These are the answers. So question number two, we, and we go to question three now. Question three is saying, how many nitrogen atoms are there in 7 grams of nitrogen molecules? There is this kapat that is given, that kapat. Have you seen? They want us to find the number of what? They want us to find the number of uh, how many nitrogen atoms, the number of atoms that are there. In seven grams of nitrogen molecules that is what is given so how can you answer the question you need to be flexible I want you to be flexible so for us to answer this question three what you are going to do is that you say okay for me to answer that they want me to find the number of what the number of nitrogen atoms so I know since they have included the two so instead of saying 14, I will say 28 grams is equivalent to what Avogadro's number, 6.02 times 10 to the power 23 atoms. This is what I need to do. 23 atoms of what? Of carbon. Then it is here now where I'm going to say, okay, then I'm given what i'm given seven grams so i'm going to say seven grams now i equate to what i equate to x because the question is saying how many nitrogen atoms are there in seven grams of nitrogen molecules so seven grams this is x there i say x i calculate this one so what i'm going to do here it's just the, I say, I get only the numbers. My concentration is on the numbers. So I'm doing all these things so that you don't get confused. So I'll, I'm going to say, this is X times what? So X times 28. You get 28X. This is what I'm going to do. Which is equal to, I say, 70 multiplied by what 6.02 times 10 to the power 23 divide both sides by 28 even here i divide by 28 this and that will be cancelled the answer that i'm going to get will be x is now equal to what is the x now 
I multiply what is on top. So I get what is on top. That is 7 times 6.02 times 10 to the power 23. After you see the answer, my uh, the answer is displayed on my calculator, 4.21. This is the answer that has displayed. Then I divide it with this one. So I say this same answer, say equals, then divide by 28. What answer am I getting? The answer that I'm going to get, I'm getting 1.505. Times 10 to the power 23. This is the answer that I'm getting. Atoms. I will say atoms of what? Atoms of, sorry, here, not carbon. This is nitrogen. We are solving for nitrogen. So I was supposed to put nitrogen there. That's a mistake. So atoms of what? Nitrogen. This is what I need to do. So this one is the what? is the answer this is what you need to do this is how you get to calculate a question a given question so these are certain things that you need to do this is what you are supposed to do so when you are solving these questions you just need to do this so this is where we are going to end from those of you under my own lessons let's prepare for a wonderful test i just test you on these things so new and old members Let's make sure that uh, those of you that wants to join, this is the number. I'm going to help you at an affordable fee. So, uh, you WhatsApp you on that number. Those of you under my online lessons, let's prepare for a test. So, this is where I'm going to end from. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day and wish you all the best. 20 hours exactly, this test starts.